welcome to Stuff Review with me, Gwen Stefani. <laughs> no, just kidding. <clears throat> it's Kalina. I know it's hard to tell. Um, I've always wanted to be Gwen Stefani, and so today I am Gwen Stefani. Few times I've been running the track, so it's not just going to happen like that. I'm going to drink my tea right now. Whatever. I'm never going to be famous. These videos are going to be evidence in some sort of court case in later years of my life, I bet. Uh, lots of incriminating evidence and personal information. Okay, so today I'm wearing my Vancouver hipster hat in the summer. I don't know if that's still a trend, but it's kind of cozy. I sort of understand why people do it. So it looks cute. It's cozy. And uh, I'm rocking it today, Vancouver hipster style. I'm gonna go downtown on my fixie bike and, um, you know, do hipstery stuff, whatever that means in COVID. Uh, carry my keys on my pants, the whole kit and caboodle. Bring them back hipster style. I think it went out of fashion five years ago. How, how long does it take for fashion to come back into fashion? 20 years? I can't wait that long. Oh. I love my tea. And I love this mug that I found. I found it. Indigenous art. Okay, for real, today I am doing another deep dive into a food that I've never had before. It's an honor of my father. He's still alive. Um, but it's an honor of him. He usually has like a case of these in the garage where he smokes weed and fixes stuff. So I don't know. Is this stoner food? You be the judge. Um, it is sardines in tomato sauce. Lego. Normally he gets the ones that are like flat, like the regular sardines. And he likes the mustard ones, or just like the spicy ones. I think he even said he doesn't really like the t tomato ones, but this is all they had. I couldn't find the flat ones, like the traditional. You crank it. Like, <coughs> the sardines start screaming. So I've never. I've had an anchovy on pizza. A friend of mine introduced me to that. And it was really good. Very salty little, like, extra thing on the pizza. But sardines and tomato sauce, and they have their little bones. Oh, I'm worried about this. This is something you'd eat, again, at the end of the world during the apocalypse. This is dystopian food that you'd eat in your bunker. So I better get used to it, because if that's what my dream is, to live in a bunker with my husband... The, and I have to feed this to my child, so I have to make sure I pretend that it's good and um, try and convince them that it's good too and they can eat it. Another thing that my parents like eating, I think it's a Polish thing, but they really like pickled herring. Ugh, and I would open the fridge and I'd see the pickled herring and it was like a science experiment in the fridge. And I'm like, oh, how can you eat that? It smells so bad. Um, so this has a lot of sodium. Uh, which is not good. It's got vitamin A, calcium, and iron. And not very much sugar. And 6 grams of protein. So, it's pretty good. Pretty good um, stim pack, like the video game people say. I don't play a lot of video games. I like the really weird esoteric ones that like have puzzles and weird shit you gotta solve. Oh. And I get so sweaty and tense when I play video games. And if I haven't saved in a while and I die and I have to start the whole level over, off, TV off, no more video games for a long time. Mm -mm. I am so frustrated and mad. Why is this game making me so mad? So video games are off the table. Da -da 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 -da. My friends would always beat me in Super Mario, my girlfriends and boyfriends. When I was a kid, and I could never beat them, and that drove me crazy. So now I have a complex, whatever complex you want to call that. What would that be? Napoleon Goblin? <laughs> a 
I feel small inside. Now I'm going to conquer all of Europe and most of Africa. I think that's what Napoleon did, and I think it's a good, a good goal to have. You have to set goals in your life. And I'm just stalling for time here because I don't really want to eat these, but I have to. Remember, I have to get over my fears. If I was kidnapped um, and I got Stockholm Syndrome and my kidnapper ate these, I would have to eat them in the forest with my kidnapper. So, okay, yeah, I'll eat this if it means I'm not going to get murdered. I like this got a pull tab. I hate using um, can openers. Oh, it's really liquidy. Oh, that's the other one over here. It's so dainty. Like, look at that. It's like tomato soup. It's like Campbell's. Try and get a whole fish out. Oh my god, no. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I might cry. It smells pretty good. It smells like those tuna snack things you have the cracker. Crackers. Oh, it smells okay, but it just looks like a disaster. Disaster! How do I show you this disaster? Ah. It's like eating a slug. Like sometimes my cousin would put a piece of tape on my back or like the back of my neck, but it's a slug, and I freak out and I scream, trying to get it off. So this is re-triggering that trauma. And my cousin teasing me all the time and rolling me up in carpets. Um. Farting on me to get the remote control. Should I eat it all at once? Is that what you fuckers want to see? <laughs> Should I nibble on it? Please. God help me. Oh, I'm just going to take a, a, a bite size. Oh, my God. But I eat shrimp tails. Like, what's wrong with me? Okay. I'm scared that it's, like, alive. That's... There's like a primal fear that this is alive and it's shiny. There's still the skin on it. Please, God, help me in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And all the saints and all the angels and all the religious people and all the crazy Bible thumpers in America and all Islam and Judaism and Sikhism. Everyone, please get on board with this. Bless, bless me and keep me safe from this boogie monster. It looks like a booger. Um, I've eaten oysters and I don't like them. I've tried them many ways. They're like boogers of the sea. Literally, I can't get into oysters. So I have a weird, like, gray area of what kind of bugs and shit I'll eat from the sea. Uh, like, have you ever eaten a barnacle? Are those edible? Do you crush them up or something? Like, what in the sea is edible and what is not? Everything has mercury in it. Oh, maybe this is mercury in it. I shouldn't be eating it. Please help me. I don't want to put this in my mouth, but I have to. It's my job now. People are watching. Oh, that smells good. Oh. It's fine. There's some like hard bits. I just don't like the idea of eating a fish whole with the, its organs and its bones. That is really freaking me out. But the taste is okay. Mm, I would eat this if I was forced to at some point. Mm, or if I was really, really hungry. Maybe if I mash it up with some mayonnaise. 
and pickles and celery, I can disguise it as a tuna sandwich. I did it. Where's my award? Hmm? Gimme. Where's my gold medal? Come on. Gimme. <laughs> I did it for you, Daddy. For you, Poppy. Pops. I ate it for you. I'm going to try pickled herring, too. I promise. That's the next level. So, my life is a video game, right? I just keep, like, leveling up. Uh, making achievements and um, being able to dress up my avatar with points. <sighs> but yeah, like I said, video games are hard for me. Stressful. Leave me disappointed and mad. Life is a video game. Okay, I think I'm going to end it there. Um... This has sort of put me in a weird mood for today, so thanks a lot, me. Uh, you do it to yourself, just you, you and no one else. You do it to yourself, yes you, you and no one else, and that's what hurts. That's what hurts, is that sometimes you just do shit to yourself. To push, push it to the limit. Walk along the razor's edge, do 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 to the limit. Identify the limit. I'm gonna go listen to that song. And get me pumped for pickled herring and any other weird shit that's out there. I am a hero. I'm a national hero. I deserve the Order of Canada. So if all of you could write petitions and recommendations to Justin Trudeau at Ottawa that I am a national treasure and my bravery knows no bounds, I would be very happy. Or I'd like some sort of letter from the Queen before she dies. Um, I wonder what kind of weird stuff the Queen eats. I wonder if she's ever eaten one of her corgis. They look so tasty. Have you ever seen a corgi? It looks like a loaf of bread. Mm, give me a corgi to nibble on. Yummy. <laughs> okay. I like this little can lid. That was super cute. And this um, packaging. It's sort of old school. Like It's like a cartoon can. That Bugs Bunny would pull out of his cellar. What's the deal with cellar door? Why was that such a big thing from Donnie Darko? Oh. With Jake Gyllenhaal, who followed me for two days. Okay, everyone. I did it. I ate the sardines, and I might eat it more. Different flavors. If I go to my parents' house, I'll make a, an impromptu video eating all the stuff in my dad's uh, shed that he keeps on hand when my mother goes away for the week. And he doesn't know how to cook. So he just eats canned stuff and bread and cheese. Um, <clears throat> how is he still alive? How does he not know how to cook as a 67-year-old man? <laughs> okay, cheers. <laughs>